All right, sound is on. Um, I'm just gonna sit on a pillow. Yeah. They're all over there. I just got them to go to sleep. Well, I didn't get them to go to sleep. They got themselves to sleep. Nice. All right. Hi, everybody. I left my pool pick. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is trainer talk again. We are um, again. We are not. I'm sorry. Don't okay. always says you wake them, you own them. Yeah, that's all right. Um, I'll be in there. Again, we're not doing um, questions. This is just trainer talk. So I'm just gonna ramble on and on until you guys get tired of me. Um, so the first thing that I want to talk about is um, I started doing some wheelchair work uh, with uh, the dogs in training. Um, so today I got through Bridget, Jenny, and Spock. Um, we spend most of their lives teaching them not to pull. And then, uh, when you have, like, a service dog and you need to use the wheelchair sometimes, you're teaching them to pull, basically. Um, so it's just, you need them old enough to be able to focus on you, listen to your verbal commands, um, before they can start wheelchair pulling. Um... Bridget can do it. She's fine. Um, but she's still looking at me like, um, I thought I wasn't supposed to pull. <laughs> and mm -hmm. oh. apparently it's on. Like a shoulder. It's a, they're looking down there. so they Yeah, can which is fine. Puppy. I'm just talking. They can yeah. always just right, good. stare at puppies because that's where I'm staring. <laughs> um... Yeah, so she was looking at me like, I'm not supposed to pull. So it was a lot of encouragement of walk on, keep going, take a step, come on, let's go. It was just a constant stream of that and, you know, pr like a lot of praise in between, like, <laughs> verbal commands. Um, she's still having trouble with left-hand turns. Um, those with a wheelchair is extra difficult because they walk on our left side so what they really need to do is kind of slow down so that you can get your wheelchair um, like further ahead of them to be able to turn left um, and then rights are easy because um, they can just walk ahead of you and cut over and it turn if you're holding on to them it turns your wheelchair um, and uh, also part of wheelchair pulling is the person um, especially in the beginning needs to hold on to um, the right wheel because um, for turning it's very helpful that you can like hold or push it ahead um, to get that turn if the dog's going too fast or too slow, you're going to start turning your wheelchair. Um, so being able to give like a couple extra pushes is very helpful. Um, so Bridget was all right. She needs some more work, but she'll get it. Um, I did Jenny and we went to the hotel. Um, for a lot of carpeted area, she did very well. Um, I mean, there's definitely more friction <laughs> on the wheels for the wheelchair, um, so that was a struggle on my part with my arms were so tired after, <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, she did pretty well. She understood the, okay, I'm going to keep walking versus Bridget who would like walk two steps and be like, what's going on? <laughs> and then you keep asking her to walk, but she's like, well, you're not moving. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah. It's not doing anything. So she really yeah. Yeah. Um, so Jenny did pretty well, and then I took Spock to Stop and Shot, um, and he was very good. He's such a weenie. Um, he didn't really understand the if there's a tight space, the dog and the person cannot walk side by side. Um, <laughs> so uh, what? we teach is the person goes first and the dog follows behind um so like you're holding onto the leash and uh actually my leash is very short so spock is very trustworthy 
Um, he doesn't have any interest in other people, so I did let go of the leash, uh, like in doorways or just like brief tight spaces. Um, like rolled myself through and then called Spock next to me. That worked out okay. Spock kept trying to squeeze his way next to me. <laughs> like, no, I have to be next to you. Or he'd try getting ahead. Um, but, I mean, he's still young. This is his first time working with a wheelchair. Um, so he did pretty well. There were several times where we were just able to, like, zoom down an aisle. That's awesome. Um, I was very proud of him. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, it also is a nice change of pace for me. Um, because, you know, every day it's different and same dogs, uh, similar places, um, a lot of the same commands, yeah. um, and it gets repetitive. It gets repetitive for the dogs after a while, once they have their skills down and they're like, okay, I'm ready for a person. If I don't get a person soon, I'm not going to be ready to be a service dog. Yeah. Um, so this is a nice change of pace for me today, doing wheelchair work. Um, I have not been bored with that, um, and it's good for the dogs. It keeps their brains like yeah. thinking. Um, like Bridget and Spock and Jenny actually. We have the sound on, just so you know. Oh. <laughs> um, Thank you. They were all just, like, visibly tired towards our, like, the end of the session. Not from physical exertion, but, like, the mental, uh, strain, I guess. It's like, change, all the yeah. learning. Yeah. Um, whenever we have, uh, recipient matches, um, <laughs> they're always so exhausted after the day, both physically and mentally, but especially mentally, because it's a lot to learn. Um, all the commands, uh, and then pairing the commands with actually what you want to do in the moment. Um, so, it's... Ah, ah. You stay right there. Stay. Shush. Okay, hey. Capri. No. Whoa. Stay. Ah. This is Mama. This is how Mama. she's been with me. The, the whole time. Like, okay. Here she goes. Well, let her smell you. She does. Okay. You know what? You could probably hang outside. Just put the songs on for this time. Because we don't start until 2.30. Okay. I was, I was just um, going to say that um, I'm going to that train. So. Yeah, 2.30. Okay. That'd be awesome. Thank just you. let the songs on, yeah. sounds on here. Thank you. What, you couldn't have peed on the disposable one? No, I, I know. <laughs> little birdie. He's so cute. Um, but anyway, um, my stars as of late have been Crusher and Riker. They're both very similar in where they're at in their training. Um, similar personalities. Um, Crusher is more afraid of traffic, but like indoors and everything, um, they're both really good. So they're both close to being ready. <coughs> Yeah, I know. You, I know. Does my shirt taste good? I bet I still have gruel on it from this morning. Nope. You know what would be fun? Chewing on each other. Mm. <laughs> I hope that isn't poop, but who knows? No, I think that's No, cool. there's no poop in here. No, 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 I meant... <laughs> I <know>. Oh! <laughs> um, hi, baby. Um, yeah, but they've been my stars, so... Eventually, I'm going to also do wheelchair work with them. Uh, we want to make a nice, well-rounded dog. Um, for our recipients, um, we want them to be able to walk. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they have to only walk. Like, if you're walking long distances and you have mobility issues, like, you're probably going to be using a wheelchair and that is perfectly fine. So we want the dogs to be able to support the person while they're walking and also be helpful when the person's in a wheelchair. You are a very nice boy. Man, my foot is very tasty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as long as you don't put your teeth on me. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> tickle though. <laughs> I am too ticklish. Um, yeah. So, love both of them. Um, my friend Naomi is also very good, but Naomi is good, great, actually, indoors. But outside, she gets a little nervous. Um, there's a place near us called Wolf Hill. Uh, and it's like a plant nursery, but they also have an indoor shop area that has a bunch of, like, stuff for your house. Like, we don't need to chew on my fanny pack either. Um, here, chew on this. I was going to say, there's tons of toys within arm's reach. <laughs> oh yeah, they don't, they don't <laughs> like the toys. Though. They already know. Oh, I they shouldn't be the, chewing on this. They like the crinklies. They can chew on the toys, it's fine. My overnights that I used to do, I'd always hand out a bunch of blue pickers. I'd be like, rip this up. Leave me alone. My dogs just take the toilet paper holders. Like, they just take the toilet paper rolls every single time. Mandy has, she comes in, she's got a mouthful of a toilet paper. Yes. <laughs> That's so cute. It's basically a poo picker. <laughs> um, anyway, there's this place called Wolf Hill, and it's right along Route 1. So, there's Route 1 traffic there. Um, and there's also a big fountain and koi pond. You put your teeth on me, you're not gonna be happy. You booping me. Um, that's my watch. They're learning already. Oh, they definitely are. Um, and uh, <laughs> Naomi would not go like within two or three feet of this fountain and koi pond because it's just so scary. Yeah. And then uh, there's also like a regular fountain, like a bird bath fountain type thing. Does she ever get to go around? Uh, does she like playing in the pond area? Uh, yeah, but yeah. That's, oh, I know it's far away. I yeah. guess. Um, but it freaks her out. Yeah. So. She just needs more exposure to different kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know I smell like pee and drool. That uh, gruel, I know. It definitely smells like gruel, too. Oh. I guess that was a bad decision. I put those down because they kept over-peeing mm -hmm. along the... And I'm like, let me just... Yeah, no, I just... You just trained me. Thank you for that. <laughs> We're going to stop that from now on. Um, but that's pretty much all the new stuff that I have to report. Um, these kids are developing personalities so fast, um, and we're already teaching them about behavior, um, that people are not dogs, they are not friends, um, that we don't put our teeth, their teeth on us. Or cuddly toys. <laughs> as much as we want to be. I know. Yep. We're not going to be a pillow or a climbing structure. Leave it. No. I'm gonna try that again. Thank you. Ah. So one of the things with the puppies um, that we want to get through their heads um, about biting is you can lick hands. You definitely can lick hands. Um, you cannot bite them. So we don't want <coughs> to take away our hand from the situation if they're biting them because they're still going to be aiming for your hand. We want them to learn that you can't bite your hand. So they get a very light, quick bop on the nose. The quick part is the important part. Um, it's supposed to like shock them mm -hmm. so that they're like, oh, I didn't like that. That was weird. I'm not going to do it again. So. Um, if you notice that, like, we'll do a one or two finger bop on the nose, or we'll pull a mama dog and mm -hmm. we'll scruff them and eh, leave it like that. <laughs> um, and we also try to pair it with a verbal cue. No. Thank you. Um, because from the beginning, you want the dog to have good manners. Um, imagine a Great Dane 
with like the manners of a bitey puppy. Like you can't have a hundred and fifty pound dog that doesn't know how to behave, aka Kirk. <laughs> Well, like they won't. Stuff. They won't make it to service dogs, right? Yeah, and That's we're the we're working hard. Like service dogs, um, yep. so they can't be bitey. They can't climb up us. I will usually tolerate, like, can you move your legs down, like the flat forearms, like on my legs. But if they're climbing up here, they need to learn while they're this size. Yes. Not to do that. I know my fanny pack tastes so good. Yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much all I have. Um, I either John or I will be here uh, next week to do trainer tough. And tomorrow is jamming with Jamie. Mm-hmm. But thank you. It was actually very cool to watch Turby yesterday do his training. Tuberculosis. <laughs> I love it.